just want to take like a second to talk about dull knives versus sharp knives. This is Taco Tuesday. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another enthralling episode of Taco Tuesday. Uh, I am one of your hosts, Kyle, also known as the Salsa Boss. And uh, I'm here with my other host, Molly. The valued customer, thank you. Yes. And our analyst, Parker. How are you guys doing? And so today, I am going to... Oh, oh, wait, Molly. I'm really sorry. I just realized that Guy Fieri is actually not with us today again. Um, He couldn't make it because the restaurant was so packed that he couldn't fit in the restaurant with all of his diners, drive-ins and dives, sound crew and, like, filming crew. And, like, they're inseparable because, like, they just follow his every move, so he couldn't make it in today, but he will be here next week, guys, I promise. Okay, Molly, thanks for uh, letting us know that. It's unfortunate. He'll join us one of these weeks, though, we know for sure. (laughs) All right, guys, and now I'm back. So this week I have the honor of introducing two very special guests. Um, We have two of my roommates on the show today. First up, I'd like to introduce Ricky, also known as Slick Rick. Ricky, why don't you say a couple words? (laughs) Des called it. (laughs) Thank you, Ricky. Thank you. Thank you, Ricky. (laughs) <laughs> and next, I have the one, the only, Luke Prescott, also known as the Dr. Reverend Luke Prescott. Luke, why don't you say a couple words? I love you guys. Aww. That was so endearing. Thank you so much. Right now, I'm going to pass the mic back on over to Kyle, and we're going to begin our show. So, as you guys hopefully know, we are... Uh, having a new system of going about things where we're choosing, letting you all pick the topics and then uh, letting you all vote on them. I thought of this idea while I was trying to fall asleep. Yes, it was Molly's idea. It was a great idea. I was glad we were able to carry through with it. Parker, something to say on this? I can confirm on that because Kyle and Molly started texting our group chat at like 1 a.m. in the morning when I was asleep. Okay, thank you for the confirmation. Um, (laughs) (laughs) um, So anyway, (laughs) we... uh, we allowed the votes to come in, and um, so due to some circumstances, we're going to change a little bit of what we're going to be presenting, and we'll move some topics to next week. So we will be talking about dating and relationships and uh, which Parks and Rec character we would be next week. But for this week, Molly will be introducing the questions that we have. Um, and before we do that, I just want to give a quick shout-out to our favorite waitress, uh, Danny, who secured a table for us this week when... Uh, we were having trouble finding seating here, uh, like Molly said, with Guy Fieri. You know, we weren't even able to get him in, so it was great. Uh, oh, we also have a super special guest. Alan Williams going to join us for a few seconds here on the podcast. Greetings, everyone in podcast land. Glad to be here. Yeah, for those of you who don't know, Alan is the director of crew at UF, so it's an honor to have him uh, by our side. Crew meets at thurs- on Thursdays at 8 p.m. at the University Auditorium. Here's Josh Reimer. Woo! <laughs> Anyways, um, so the winners for our questions were, by a landslide, if you were Kanye West for a day, what would you do? Um, and then we chose how dull knives are actually more dangerous than sharp knives. Guys, it's a real issue. We're trying to stay woke. And then, what's the third one? Scary movie. And then if you were in a scary movie, how long would you survive? So we don't really have to go... Actually, let's just start with Kanye West, because, like, it's the winner. Um, If I were Kanye West for a day, I'd never shut up, because I love myself a lot, and so i just talk about that. And then I'd also want to just, like, touch Kim Kardashian's butt, and that's it. Thank you for that riveting answer, Molly. Um, I actually want to throw this question over to our guests, um, hear their opinion. So, Doctor, would you like to start us off? All right, here you go. Yeah, if I was Kanye West for a day, I don't know if he's done this, but I would trademark my ego. And, you know, if anyone ever tried to use that, I mean, you got to pay me because I'm Kanye West. And who's better than Kanye West than Kanye West? You know, I, I, that makes sense. What do, you, what do you think, Rick? I think it's a beautiful idea. <laughs> On the other hand, though... I would design a new pair of Yeezys called the Slick Ricks and make all 
and make all the profits go to a gentleman by the name of Ricky Aldridge. Oh, that's, wow. that's very touching. Uh, I actually have spent some time thinking about this question. Uh, Molly? Can, I just want to point out that they're in the covenant of marriage, so like touching her butt is okay. <laughs> Uh, sorry, trying to keep it PG. This is very difficult. We have to cut some things. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Okay. Sex last week. <laughs> oh, yeah, last last week was PG-13. Um, anyway, uh, so yeah, I've spent some time thinking about these questions, and the answer for uh, me is I would spend the entire day trying to get in my zone because uh, people people try not Don't to let, let him get in his zone. Exactly, people try not to let me get in my zone. But once I get in my zone, you know. So, uh, uh, are you, wait, Parker, did you supply us with an answer? All right, Parker, let's hear your answer. I'm not going to lie. I have not put a lot of thought into this question. And I'm not a big Kanye fan. Forgive me. I know, I know. But I think what I would do is legally change the name of their children, specifically Northwest. Is that, is that what it's called? It, it, I'm sorry. Him, her. I don't know if it's a guy or a girl, but um, that's just. Girl. I, I would. I would name her like. I don't know, but I would not keep Northwest. So. Wait, do you know their son's name? I do not. Okay. For the record, their son's name is Saint West. So, like, we're not changing any names. Yeah, uh, I'm sorry for those of you who are offended by Parker's lack of knowledge on the subject. He's our analyst, so he should be looking up this stuff on Google or something. You can tell that I am not the biggest Kanye fan. All right, let's move on to our next question. <laughs> this Kanye thing's getting a little too heated. Um, so I just want to take like a second to talk about dull knives versus sharp knives. Um, Guys, I recently started working in the kitchen at Lucky Supermarket. Come see me, please don't. I wear a hairnet. It's gross. But dull knives are so much harder to use, and you have such a higher chance of cutting yourself because they don't cut the food well. So just save yourselves and save a hand or a finger and get a sharp knife and save yourself all the problems, and then your hands won't hurt when you're cutting food because it's just, like, easy. I actually just pulled up a statistic. According to the web, 86% of dull knives cause injury, as opposed to 32% of sharp knives. There's a big difference there, folks. Wow, thank you, Parker. That No, no, he's saying out of 100%. 80, yeah, so Parker, thank you for providing our analyst uh, activities. Luke, you had something to chime in? I was just going to say, from a medical perspective, if I try to cut someone open with a dull knife, it wouldn't really work that well. I'd have to jab them a ton. It would be really painful. So from a surgeon's perspective, I think the sharp knife would be better. But if you really want to make things interesting, you could go with the dull knife. But please be careful. Wear your gloves and wear your all your you know safety goggles and all that good stuff, okay? Make sure you stay, stay safe. Safety goggles are important. Thank you for your input, Luke. I actually, I actually used goggles last week when I was cutting red onions because my, I was, I was crying. I was crying like I'd just fallen on the floor. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Yeah, I don't know what she's saying either. But uh, yeah, I'd agree with everything that's been said today. For many purposes, um, it is much safer. So please avoid the use of dull knives. Uh, Guys, I'm just really glad that we could all agree on this and that I didn't have to fight anyone because, like, <laughs> I was prepared. <laughs> yeah. All right. Uh, Molly, do you want to move on to our next question? Okay, so our final question from the polls. Final question. From the polls. From, oh, final fr question from the polls um, is... Scary movie. If you were in a scary movie, how long would you survive? Anyone want to start? I would die real fast. I'm just being upfront and honest here. Um, if you have met me, you would know that I would probably step on something, fall, and like poke my brains out. Parker always dies first in the game of bodies, so like can confirm. I was also going to say I can confirm that just from knowing Parker, he would be the first to die in the movie. Uh, special guest, do you have an answer to this question? Parker would definitely die first because he's trying to record all of it so much and he's trying to make it such like an intense scene that, yeah, he would probably die. 
I'd probably walk up to the killer and be like, can you hold that for a second? I need to get the right shot. So, hold the boom. Yeah, hold the boom above him or whatever. Yeah, exactly. Looks like Ricky has something to say. Parker would be the guy that are on those first person like camera horror movies. He would be at the very beginning where he dies and the camera drops and then someone else finds it and picks it up. <laughs> May I also add that this question was asking how long you would survive, <laughs> not how long Parker would survive. Okay, so now that we've all concluded that Parker would die first, which out of the four of us would die next? Not quite sure. For me, I would say that I would I would survive a while, but it wouldn't be because I'm like brave or anything. It would just be because I like was smart, got out of there at the beginning, unlike Parker, and found a really good place to hide. <laughs> or just like left the entire like movie completely. Like <laughs> like the bad guy gets there and then you hear like a car driving away and like that's me. <laughs> because like I would just get out of there. <laughs> Now, I don't know Ricky and Luke super well, but but based on what I know, they seem like pretty smart guys. I think I would be the next to die um, because I think I would I would get uh, influenced by a spell of bravery and feel the need to approach the killer, maybe fight him and, uh, you know, protect my friends. Um, and I think that would be my downfall probably is I would go after the killer and uh, I would pay the price. I think Kyle also knows that the best films especially horror films, are not when all the characters just run away. So, like, he would do it for the love of the film. You know, like, he would, he would sacrifice himself for that. Ricky, what do you think? About me? Yeah. Um, I would probably be that guy that hears, like, a sound in the woods and then, and then trying to figure out what it was because I think it was Parker probably before he died. <laughs> so then I go, I go see where Parker went, and then I probably die in like, like one of those ways where the whole audience laughs because it's just a ridiculous death. What do you think, Luke? Wait, wait, wait. Before Luke goes, I would like to put my two bits on where Luke would end up. And I believe, personally, that he would survive, considering he has already survived a horror film. Huh? And what way would that be, Parker? Can you please elaborate? I will elaborate. So back in our um, high school days, Luke and I and a few of our other fun, Ricky was there as well, we, um, we created a short horror film, and um, Luke survives. So if you want to look that up, search YouTube, but I'm not going to tell you anything about it. You'll just have to find it. Yeah, we won't say any more about that terrible video. Okay, Rick, what do you want? Just ask me and I'll give you the pages to both of his uh, YouTube pages. Okay, but just for the record, our acting was decent for someone who's never acted before. <laughs> Anyways, I would probably do all right, though, in a horror situation. I don't know what kind of horror situation we're talking about. If we're talking about, like, zombies or, like, a killer or, like, some paranormal stuff. Either way, I'd probably run away. And then i get some courage. And then i take a knife, a sharp knife. And then I'd stab the guy. Probably. So, here you go, Kyle. Okay, okay. Danny... Um, I don't know. We're glad we got to get you over How here. Did you guys survive? Well, well, I would. Are you finished up with that? Yes, we're going to interview Danny on this horror movie question: How long she would survive? Uh, I said that I I would probably die second. Parker would clearly die first. We said. I would. Uh, I'd be insta killed like the first person they see. On no, the Danny, looks, you would. She looks annoying. You wouldn't <laughs> die before Parker. You yeah, wouldn't. I would. I'd That's be okay. so oblivious. Like then you don't suffer. <laughs> exactly. That's okay. okay. Well, you heard it here first. Supposedly, uh, Danny would die before Parker, which I, I find very difficult to believe because I really see Parker dying first. I mean, I think everyone can confirm this. I think the word she used to describe it was insta-killed. So, like, maybe also documented on Instagram, question mark? That's a good point, Molly. But um, I can see where she's coming from. You know how in, like, some horror movies, like, they have that throwaway character who dies in the beginning to introduce the killer. I'm sorry, why does she have to be a girl? She's not, a throwaway character. She's not but I'm just saying in this situation, situation, that might be her character. And then I'm like one of the first actual main characters to die, if you know what I mean. I hated that. I hated that. <laughs> All right, uh, so we have a tradition at Taco Tuesday where we always ask what people's orders are. So if you both could give us your orders, that would be great. I got two chicken tacos with uh, lettuce and cheese. Thank you. Oh, hard or soft shell? Hard. 
All right, thank you, Ricky. And Luke? I'm a softy. I go for the soft tacos. But uh, I do beef and everything on it because you can't go wrong because I like food a lot. And um, for anyone who was concerned, I got tacos this week as well. Yeah, Parker finally manned up and bought tacos today. Uh, didn't pack his own lunch. So, uh, let's see. What else do we have to discuss this week? That was it for the polls. That was it for the... I'm always going to give a shout-out. I want to give a shout-out to our fans. Guys, we've made it to week three. And, like, thank you for walking on this journey together with us. Like, we are so blessed to have fans that want to walk with us. And you guys are all major keys. And I just get, like, DJ call it every time I think about you guys because, like, I'm blessed by y'all. <laughs> so thanks for listening. Tell your friends about us. Um, come to crew. Come meet me and Kyle. 8 p.m. Thursday at the University Auditorium. And I guess Parker will be there, too. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yep, and just want to finish taking care of a little bit of business. Make sure you fill out the application if you want to be on the show. Um, also, make sure that you enter in topics for ideas. We have that posted on our page. And vote. Vote. Exercise your right uh, on the weekly pages. Suffrage. Um, again, thank you guys so much for being on our show, Luke and Ricky. We really appreciated having you guys here. It was uh, definitely a great time. Yep. And uh, concluding this Taco Tuesday, uh, Kyle, Molly, Parker, Ricky, and Luke signing out. Adios. I think we could take a few minutes to um, just talk about Harambe again. No? No, Molly? Molly's giving me a very disappointed look. I don't think we're going to talk about Harambe this week. R.I.P.